these are the original clutch parts that came from the Gladiator that had 62,000 miles on it. And we did our pedal tests on it, which kind of showed us that the loads were pretty low. So we wanted to find out what the clutch parts tested like. And in the past, you know, we've tested uh, new parts and ones that had pretty low miles on it. Uh, now, in this case, the clutch is in good shape. I mean, there's more than half the clutch life left. The su surfaces of the flywheel and the floater are in good shape. They're smooth and flat. There's no signs of overheating or warpage, cracks, or anything like that. And in fact, the, the uh, owner of the car had no complaints about the clutch whatsoever, other than the, the, you know, the clutch feel. So we uh, took the parts out and made sure we didn't allow the pressure plate to re-index or anything because it is a self-adjusting pressure plate. And we performed a bearing load test and a clamp load test. And what we found is that the bearing load is all the way down to 250 pounds and that the clamp load is down to 980 pounds. Now this is on a, a clutch that when new, at least the one we tested, was 1,200 foot-pounds, excuse me, 1,200 pounds. So that's an 18% reduction. 18% uh, is a lot. You know, normally we see a 5 or as much as 10% reduction in clamp load, but not 18. That's, that's a significant number. But then I thought, what else could be influencing this as well? And then it, it occurred to me that the slave cylinder also has a spring. Now, it's not a heavy spring. When it's in the install position, it has about 12 and a half pounds of uh, force. But the arm on the Jeep takes that 12 and a half pounds, and now you're multiplying it by two where the bearing is hitting the pressure plate. So the bearing is pushing on the pressure plate by 25 pounds. Now, as you recall, I said that the bearing load on this is 250. So 25 pounds pushing against it, that's a 10% preload or a 10% reduction in clamp load and torque capacity. So now you have a clutch that uh, when you do the math, it calculates to uh, a torque capacity of about 267 foot-pounds of torque. And that is really not enough uh, on an engine that makes 260, or it's barely enough. Uh, now we are making some assumptions with coefficient of friction and uh, you know, obviously these parts didn't fail, they weren't slipping or anything, but man, it just really doesn't give you anything in reserve, and it, in my book, it's, it's just inadequate. Uh, now, I don't know if this is the best case scenario or worst case scenario at 62,000 miles, so that might explain why, why these Jeep owners are having so many problems, but uh, we have a solution for that, of course, with our ACT clutch, and uh, Anyway, uh, I learned a couple things with this Gladiator, especially with the slave cylinder and the influence there. Hopefully you did too. Thank you for watching.